What were Obama's top five achievements in his presidency? Well, number one, his decision to kill Osama bin Laden. Now, his decision to kill Osama bin Laden was very important because not only did it get revenge for 9-11, um, it was patriotic and there were parties thrown in the streets, pretty much had the entire nation celebrating Democrat, Republican, Independent, all celebrating the death of bin Laden. It was a very Sigma moment in his career. And I have this cringy little TikTok to show you guys um, why it was so cool. So yeah, I know it was kind of cringy, but it was just a compilation of pictures that showed everybody celebrating. It was honestly probably the last time the United States has been so united on something in particular. And I want to I want to congratulate Obama for his decision going through and uh and taking out Bin Laden. Oh god. I did not mean to play that again. I'm sorry. Um number 2 is ending the 2008 recession. Now, this is very, very early on in his career. This is like within months of him taking office. Basically, it was the American Recovery and in, uh, Reinvestment Act. He needed to pull Americans out of the recession that he inherited from uh, from President Bush. Now, it was pretty. This is the second biggest recession in the history of the United States. The first being the Great Depression in the twenties and early thirties. So this is kind of a big deal, and he, he basically put a stop to it before it can get to the scale that the first uh, – the Great Depression did, which you got to you gotta um, commend him for. I mean, yes, it was a lot of money. Yes, like people got mad at the amount of money that he spent, but in the long run, it seriously saved so many Americans in their well-beings um, and their ability to recover from, from the recession. Um I mean, all these things combined put an end to this recession before it could have gotten who knows how much worse. Number three is Obamacare. This one's controversial, but essentially Obamacare was the Affordable Care Act. Uh, it made prescription drugs cost less, increased the quality of insurance. Um, there's no more wait times or time limits on certain kinds of care. You know, um, It made insurance affordable. Again, raised a shit ton of taxes. This is what's controversial. Basically, Obama, the only thing controversial with Obama, about Obama outside of like the Middle East stuff is the fact that all of his, all of his um, acts and all of the ton of money and increased taxes. Um, but America was in a desperate need for a health care reform at this point, and you know, Obama had to, had to deliver on it. Four is the BRAIN initiative, and BRAIN stands for Brain Research Through Advancing Innovative Neurotechnologies. Now, this one's important, too, because um, our health care and our health system and our, uh, you know, our hospitals were falling behind in, in brain research. And brains still, even to this day, extremely unexplored. We don't, like, it's very, very tricky to nail brain issues because it, the, our brains are so complex, but it helped um, researchers get funding for Alzheimer's, epilepsy, traumatic brain injury, a bunch of other various diseases. And I think this is a pretty underrated uh, initiative from his political uh, from his time as president. Honestly, number five, proving America has changed. <laughs> this one's pretty much the most obvious one. I mean, at our nation's founding. There's never a thought that an African American could even run, let alone get elected. I mean, they weren't even considered citizens. You know, at, a, at the nation's greatest turmoil, which is the Civil War, there was also no such thought. You know, in the Golden Age, you know, the 1950s, I mean, yet again, 
no such thought of an African-American president. Only in 2008 would Americans prove that such job was not reserved for only white men. And this is huge. Like, this is huge. Even to this day, it's, it's shocking how, like, he was elected twice, which is so, it's so mind-blowing. It blew everyone's mind even across the globe, not just in the U.S., but I just want to say that I'm proud of our nation for its ability to grow and change and who for all the change that's still yet to come, you know, like who knows what the nation has in store for us. But I think Obama's presidency was a good it was a good example of how Americans can change. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. It's a cringy ass video. I'm so sorry.